Hello and welcome to the Andy Show. Andy here. We have a small update here for you. I know it's been a while, but this is the first time in over a month and a half. Really close to two months, I think, since we've sent a wire. And we are currently sitting at 1,944,152,000 thousand five hundred thirteen dinar that's our net asset value with a balance of three hundred eleven thousand dinar in the trading account uh, what we have purchased we've gone up a little bit in the Al Mansur bank we're at 492 billion 531 billion 935 shares on our way to half a billion shares why did we buy Al Mansur bank because right now uh, we are getting it a little cheaper than our average cost so we're going to build up while we can while it's actually down just a hair and we're just going to round that out to another seven and a half billion shares is, is all we're going to add to this or seven and a half million shares I'm sorry uh, we're going to get it to the 500 million then we'll work on these others our current stock count in shares is one billion six hundred ninety nine million fifty six thousand eight hundred and eight shares there's really not a lot more to discuss as far as where we stand with our account uh, we can go back and show you what the average price per uh, the average price per block so what we would have to do here is take the net asset value and divide it by the number of blocks so we have a billion nine hundred forty four million one hundred fifty two thousand five hundred thirteen dinar you divide that by the number of blocks we currently have which is 12,121 blocks so each block is worth 160,395 dinar so you can kind of figure that on you know I know people think it's going to be well over three dollars and you know I'm not here to dispute that I'm just it's easier for me to reference dollar for dollar so if we did it dollar for dollar after a rate change you'd be looking at 160,395 per block or per $100 investment okay and I'm not claiming that the dinar is coming out at a dollar it's just easy to give you an idea of where we stand with that but at its current price this 160 divide that by the 1450 per you know 1450 dinar per dollar and you're sitting at 110 dollars and I really expected by the time they added everything up that we would be closer to 115 but again some of these shares have dropped a little bit over what they were just a few days ago and we're going to see that you're going to see them go up and you're going to see them go down so it's nothing to be concerned about but just know that what you have invested is still there everything is good uh, there's just a ton of positive news out there and it's not nearly as much the positive news as it is there's just no real negative news and I've been asked what about Afghanistan how will that affect I have no idea how that will affect Iraq short or long term uh, and we can't know what to expect with the bumbling idiot in charge that we have so it's uh, anybody's guess you know this was a very high risk you know that going in and I think Iraq has enough in their arsenal to 
take on the Taliban or whoever else might try to push their way over into their country. I don't see this as an issue with Afghanistan at all, but I am not one to keep up and and understand all of the intricacies that are involved in this. Uh, get lots of questions and there's just no way to know. I am like you guys. I this is I don't live and breathe this. I'm providing a service and if you're looking for answers as to when, if and all that stuff, uh, you know, I, I just can't make you any promises. To me, this is going to happen. It's never been a question of if but when. And you know, a lot of people think that we're right on the verge and I can't dispute that because I simply don't know. You know, we're all just waiting for something to happen and we just continue waiting. I am really, really tired of people asking why there hasn't been an update. What am I supposed to update you on? I am not a news site. I'm not bringing you news. I'm not going to bring a story out to make it appear as though something is about to happen. I am not here to sway anyone. If you want to invest, please do so. But I'm not here to try and convince you so I can get a few more sales. And anything that I say or do could lead in that direction and I don't want to be responsible for somebody putting in their last few dollars when they really shouldn't be investing but they should be paying rent or utilities or something so I'm I don't I'm not here to grab every last dollar you have in this if you believe in it you're welcome to add blocks you're welcome to join the group it has to be a decision that you make for yourself and as far as updates, I have said it over and over. I will update you as soon as there is something to update you on. So whether that's a massive change in the rate, uh, whether it's a shakeup in our net asset value, uh, good or bad, when we send a wire over, I will always let you know. And that's what this is a result from, from sending a wire last Wednesday I believe we sent one no Thursday we sent a wire last Thursday so they got it they processed it they bought our shares and that is the updates that I'm going to bring you I'm not bringing you updates on the Minister of Finance said this or this dude said that it's just that's not my game here okay I'm not here to pump I'm not here to do anything Something I do need to clear up and make sure that you understand. I'm getting uh, questions on the annual maintenance fee. If your investment began prior to December 13 of 2020, you do not have to pay an annual maintenance fee. The reason for that is I started that on December 13th when we increased the per block rate and you are grandfathered in because you signed an agreement that did not include any sort of maintenance fee. Sure, I could add it in and just say, well, you got to pay it. To me, that's not fair. I will never ask you to pay something or limit your access to the website. I'm not a cowardly jerk in that respect. Uh, I tend to know how to do business a little better than that. I'm never going to force you to pay to help me pay my bills. Uh, none of that stuff. So if you're used to that, you're in the wrong group, but hey, you chose that. And luckily I, I don't have anything to do with that. I don't deal with people who are desperate to make a dollar and try to get you to pay all their bills for them. So uh, you're in a good group here that uh, just doesn't like to play games. I'm, I'm, my head is not in the clouds and I'm not billions and trillions and all that stuff. So uh, I'm just not going to make any promises to you. And I get a lot of questions about 
this or that in the other group and access and all of that guys you, you, you you're getting what you paid for it and uh, I, I can't help I, I'm not going to go into specifics I'm not going to go into uh, someone's capabilities or abilities or anything else uh, there's been several that want me to speak out and speak up I'm not here to do that if you've got issues with someone else you take it up with them directly I'm not getting into your cat fight okay so uh, but as far as Willard Enterprises is concerned all is good all is great and we are in limbo waiting it may be a week before you get an update it could be a month it could be three months it could be six months I just don't know I'm not going to jump on here and waste your time just to tell you that there is no update so from now on those emails and those texts will be ignored if you are asking about an update then you obviously watch them then you should hear these words I will update you when there is something to update on I know it's been what six weeks or so but in that six weeks nothing has happened so I'm not going to continue to pacify people and respond to emails and respond to texts and all of that stuff I'm just I'm just not going to do it if you watch these updates and you hear me say that I will update when there is something to update on you can take that to the bank I'm not going to hide I'm not going to keep you in the dark ever okay so just know that any any changes that directly impact this investment I will be letting you know as far as other investments I am no longer going to share an investment that I have uh, evidently some people don't like some of my investments and that's fine we're all different we all choose what we want to put our money into and I am NOT a financial expert by any stretch I am not a financial coach I I'm I'm nothing and I think I best leave any investment advice or investment ideas to the professionals so I will not be sharing any updates on that everything that I am invested in I am currently up or or waiting in limbo just just like this one just like this investment but I'm not going to share those with you anymore there are plenty of sites out there there are plenty of people that can give you advice or yeah I wasn't trying to advise anyone at any time I was simply sharing what I was invested in some of the things that I'm invested in and it was up to you to make up your own mind it was up to you to investigate and choose whether or not you wanted to invest in those things but yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna leave any outside any other investment ideas to someone else it's not going to be me so I'm going to keep these videos a lot shorter from now on and we're just going to wait and see what happens here one other thing is uh, everyone wants to know uh, or not everyone I shouldn't say that but people do want to know about taxes and things like that folks we've gone over this multiple times I'm not a tax advisor I'm not telling you what you should or should not do I can assure you that when this does happen when there is a, a change in the rate and by a change in the rate had a good conversation with one of the investors last week I believe and what signifies a change in the rate right now my thought process is if it were to steadily increase and let's say a float if something like that were to happen we would have to weigh it as it increases and determine a time that it is more profitable to pull the dividends as we receive them I don't want to give a specific amount I can assure you at dollar for dollar we're considered 
reinstated, revalued, we're, that, to me that would be a significant increase. Anything up to that as far as paying out dividends, we're going to have to weigh that. And it may be that, you know, let's say it's 10, 20, 30 cents, 50 cents, 60 cents, whatever it may be. If it looks like it would be a, a good payout when we got dividends, then we may bring that to the members and just say, what do y'all think? And, and let a majority, if y'all think that at 50 cents, we should take the dividends instead of reinvesting. Y'all want to consider that as a significant change in value. And it sort of would be. Then we may go ahead and, and distribute the funds at that time. But again, we're not doing anything until there is a significant change in the value. So any, uh, dividends that we do receive are going to be fed back in to purchase more stocks. And all that's going to do is when they do finally pay dividends, we have more shares to draw on those dividends. So it's a, it's a win either way. Uh, I would like to not even have to consider it and be able to just start sending out checks and distributing money, but we can't do that when we still have a pretty worthless currency. There is news that the government, I, and I'm probably not saying this correctly, but, and do check on it yourself, but I believe the, uh, some form of the government is going to invest heavily in the Iraqi stock market, and that should boost the value of the market, and it should increase these prices here. So we'll just have to see what happens with that. I mean, again, nothing negative is happening out there, or at least that has been brought to my attention. So it's all good, but we just do not know what that one thing that's going to be the catalyst to make this change happen. We just don't know. Everybody's been guessing for years. So anyway, just uh, know that we're here. We're not going anywhere. And if you don't hear from us for a while, the reason is there's been nothing to report. Okay. I would suggest you, you're invested. If you want to invest more, that's great. But if you are where you're at and you're not investing another dime, go live life. If there's anything to report, I promise you that we will get it reported to you. Okay. And with that, I'm going to bid you all a good week. Hope everybody had a great Labor Day weekend. And we will talk soon. God bless you all and have a great day.